Hello there guys and welcome to this mega massive My Areas Today and Bedroom Update. I've been so busy today, it's been flat out all day. So let's get this started guys. Started the day off really nice. Managed to re this lovely guy to a nice couple today. They came this morning. That brings my total to birds rehomed this week to six, which is not bad. These are the four birds that are left. Very lovely little birds. And it's that time of the year guys, a big clean out for the finches. Uh, I was supposed to catch some this weekend but been so busy doing other things. But don't worry little guys, I'll be getting you soon enough. And this is why it's very important to give your birds plenty of cuttle fish bone. You can see here the birds absolutely love it, especially my finches. They go absolutely nuts when I give them fresh cuttle fish. And this next part's really cool guys, you can see landing in about two seconds right in the middle I've zoomed in there you go one of my first uh, Bengalese finches of the year absolutely beautiful really hard to catch them because it's quite a big area and there's quite a lot of birds but yeah really chuffed so that's the finches cleaned out and you can see here they're all looking quite happy a few chicks as well got plenty of chicks actually Also been very busy in the bird room today giving that a bit of a clean out and I've now got some solar powered night lights in there because the other night one of my females got disturbed and she caught her, her wing on the cage somewhere and it, it was a new growth of feather and it caused her to bleed a little bit and these things are really cool and some extra ones in the middle as well for a bit of extra lighting it's, you can fix up to three lights to each panel and these things were 12 pound real good bargain excellent i'll show you the the lighting in a later video here you can see the chicks that are left over they need to be rehomed sometime soon and here we've got the canaries i've put the divider in for now until i want to breed them just to stop, stop them from squabbling and being uncomfortable And you'll be pleased to know that Mango hasn't gone anywhere and he will be a keeper, definitely. And you'll see some clips of him in a little bit. Here's the breeding budgies. Gonna be increasing the light level over the next few months slowly to trigger their breeding. I've got electricity in there now, you'll see that in a sec. Here's some more breeding birds. Here's the one that caught a, a wing, and it, because of the flapping, it makes it it makes it look ten times worse than what it is. And that's why I've got the the new solar powered night lights. Now these two, the one you've just seen, and these two excellent pairs, and I think they're going to have eggs pretty soon. As soon as I increase the light levels, these two have settled in quite nicely as well. So that's the budgies at the moment. Now here is my very good, reliable, trusty heater that I will be using when it gets really, really cold. Let's see if we can give you a nice wide-angled view of all the cages and it's finally looking like a proper bird room. Well impressed with the progress, nice little bird room. But it does the job, keeps my birds nice, safe and warm and lets me breed birds throughout the year. And you can see the wires I tried to keep out of the way, but it's quite hard. These little clips just to keep them out of the way. And next up, he's a little bit of a star at the moment, is Mango. He's definitely going to be uh, looked after and kept by us. Say, I can't go to a new home. I like this one. He's staying friendly. Mm -hmm. So hopefully he'll keep friendly and we'll have a nice budgie for life to look after. Found it. He's found a millet. So yeah, I want some of that. I don't want a little bit. And we've sort of about 80 to 90 percent of the work done in the bedroom. It's time to take off the protective cover. Rather remember to take it off and. That looks nice and clear now. 
Here's a quick look with the new lights on. You can see it keeps it nice and bright for the birds. It's going to keep it around about 11 hours daylight, which is the minimum really you should have for birds if you want to keep them healthy, and then slowly increase it. And this is the the solar powered night light. Looks a lot brighter than it is because the camera adjusted. And while I was feeding the budgies, uh, Rosie has finally made it inside one of our cockatiels. They weren't going inside for a long time but the tree next to the shed has cleared all its leaves and now it's a lot brighter in there so she's found her way inside. And here's two of my chicks. New chicks from the box inside. One's got very short wing feathers. It's quite young but there's a nice blue one there. Very healthy. It's gonna be caught soon. And I also finally managed to get some Good shots of my favourite budgie, very similar to the, my other favourite that I lost, just not as deep a colour on his, on his belly and chest, but I think when he gets his adult colours he'll be a very lovely bird. And after being stuck in all day while I've been busy, Marley was quick to make himself as dirty as possible. Okay guys, got quite a lot done today and a nice little video for you guys. Next is uh, some clips of the finches going crazy on the cuttlefish bone and towards the end guys, you watch out for mango. Some new clips of mango at the end of the video. Thanks a lot for watching guys, I hope you had a nice weekend. Take it easy and look after yourselves and I'll see you next time.
Say hello, Mango. Say hello. Tell him you're staying. You're not going, are you, Mango? No. You're not going, are you, Mango? Hmm? You're not going anywhere. Well, you might go for a trip around the bedroom. Yeah. Are you staying, Mango? Hmm? Hey, you had to swept this floor, mister. Mm -hmm. You gonna stay there?